thoughts on the Heat tonight? You know, he started out <laughs> and he looked like he had good stuff. He was attacking, you know, he was following Hedgie. And then he just couldn't put he couldn't put anybody away. You know, he was one pitch away. Um, you know, he wasn't able to work into the right handers so they could he could get him off their breaking ball enough to, you know, other than get a foul ball. Um you know, he had a really long at bat. I think it was a 10 pitch at bat where he finally walked, you know, had, and it was a good, it was a close pitch. It was a ball, but it was close. Just, and then there was a swinging bunt. And then he, then he started shaking off. It was like, I don't know if he's getting frustrated, but he threw a curveball and a change up to Carpenter for the, the damage. I was going to ask, not pointing fingers, but we talked so much about a sinker being his oh, best pitch. Correct. Were you surprised by, um, how many sink? How many sliders he did try to throw in that inning? Well, I, again, he was he was trying to get he was trying to do everything he could to get out of the inning. He just, you know, if he would have been able to command his his sinker in, I think it would have opened up a way, and he just couldn't get it there. What did you think of Wainwright and what he was able to do? You, you know, he's first inning. It didn't look like he had his A stuff, but like like a lot of good veterans, man, they got him those runs and he came out and just, just put on a clinic. You know, he, he, he threw all his pitches for strikes. He changed the beads, the guys that he knew on our club that are aggressive. He, he made them chase. He, you know, he just, he, he was, he was terrific. We, we had a really difficult time, obviously. Tito, what did you think of Mayton coming in in that situation? You know, he did such a good job. I think at one point he struck out five in a row, and then he gave up the double in the home run. That was a shame because I thought he threw the ball really, really well. That same topic, um, what did you think of Cal, um, his two innings? Um, seemed very coming out uncomfortable, um, what he was able to do. He seemed what? Seems, it seems comfortable in, in those two innings, just, you know, turning it over and just getting the guys back in the dugout. Are, are you asking me or telling me? <laughs> you, you asked me, then you answered it. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I, I thought he was fine. You know, again, he's, you know, he's, we're trying to, trying to keep everybody in line. We're trying to stretch certain guys out. We're trying to not pitch two guys too much, but he, he did, he did fine. You know, not you're headed home with this, you know, that stretch of games in front of you. What, what's the feeling with, uh, you know, with Mejia and Quantro right now when you look at the rotation as a whole? Well, I, I don't think we have to, Hoinsey. And I mean, I understand your point, but we got an off day tomorrow. We got a game on Friday. You know, we, I think if we choose to look at it like that, it'll serve us better. You know, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, I understand at some point you got to start getting some length out of, you know, more than two starters. But to start fretting about the next week, I don't think makes sense. If we if it comes to a point and, and we need to worry, then we can we can do that when it happens. But I think right now we'll just get ourselves ready for Friday.